Thank you. Moves have been missed. She fell flat on my face. It was pure embarrassing. Physics have been broken. What the fuck am I mean? The laws of time and space shattered in an instant. <laughs> yes, this is entertainment, but the glitches are real. Whoever you are, whatever you do, please don't put this at home. It's time. Let me just get the thing to open. It does not want to open. see the card now. Hello everyone, how are you? By the unfaltering grace of the regime, we have the final night. And boy howdy, what a card we have. I'm forgetting. Ah, yes, of course. To show you all the game. So, have a look. Come hither. Almost a thousand perverts can't be wrong. As we usher in. The final night of the C64 Climax. For those of you who are maybe new, haven't been following, it is a G1 style tournament we've been running in Fire Pro with characters inspired by and created by members of the chat. Uh, tonight we're going to find out who the second finalist is going to be who will face off in the finals later this month on the 23rd to be per six. So without further ado, let's do this.
Kim. Let's bear. How's the volume, by the way? Do I sound meaty, juicy? So Battle Clash, sadly out of the running, and has announced that this tournament will be her swan song. The final match is taking place tonight. Meanwhile, Casey Logan, top of the board. Two matches remain. Casey Logan, four points up for grabs across those two matches. Casey Logan needs just three of them to guarantee that they will be the winner of Group B. Oh, missed with it. Swing and a kick. Let's go. Cover attempt already. I should have tested that music before, it sounds quite loud. But no matter, we have a match on our hands. I mean, in, uh, in comparison to the rest of the game. What can I say? I'm an audio nerd. Swant on off the top. Battle Clash show wanting to go out on a high note. Can she get the job done? Attempt. But likewise, Casey Logan wants to finish on a high, the highest of the highs, winner of Group B. It came right down to the wire in Block A. Oh God! Cover attempt. Hanging back stretch. Two count, the block leader gets their shoulders up. There's a Destino though. Oh, totally, Jim. That would rule. Oh, Kenny. Oh, God. Off the top. Give up. Give up. 
<laughs> Stu face. Um, that, I mean, that's for when it's not fire pro, but you know. <laughs> I guess like the sim equivalent of backseat gaming would be can you make my guy <laughs> Psycho said chip oh god that's a great idea actually Uh, C64 themed uh, because the tournament was 64 people to begin with. It was then whittled down to 32, placed into two uh, G1 style groups. And that puts Casey Logan in a very, very comfortable position. And I'm not talking about the back of a Volkswagen. change that music because it was damn loud the 8 bit oh my god that's actually fantastic What we have next? Ah! CM Chainsaw versus Kate Foray. I mean, you'll be waiting a while, Kane, tonight. Mm. Like, probably next stream. As we have, as this is the second of 16 matches. Oh god, yeah, oh, it, it's essential, Stu Face. You've got to get the right theme. Although that one was literally picked because it had the word Kate in the title, or the name Kate in the title. Both out of the running here, but looking for as high a finish as possible. Of course, looking for future title contention. Do that. I've done that with some of them, Spooface. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, I mean, that is the one thing I miss about the 2K games. 
like being able to do like elaborate entrances and stuff. But aside for that, much prefer Fire Pro. So who have you got folks on this one? Ah. That is a tough call. I mean, they might not be up at the top table, but this has been an extremely tight group. The fact that like five people are still in it on the final day. Big choppies. Give up. Give up. Uh, yes, as uh, Stoface. Uh, G1 style. Uh, we're doing the last two matches of Block B on this one stream. Reason being that I kind of messed up the arrangement of block A. So I couldn't have it like, I couldn't do it like double block header, uh, double headers because of the way it was arranged. It was impossible to get like it like everyone facing each other once on the one show without like overlap. Oh, big lariat there. And the head scissors. Also, doing the maths, it is actually now down to three. That win to start things off for Casey Logan means that Bastard Denton and Mirabella are also out of the running. All they can do now is try and fuck things up for everyone else. Oh, I, I honestly think more companies should do stuff like that, Stu Face. Samuel Chainsaw? Sexual Chainsaw! Oh, the shotgun! Locks in the Dragon Sleeper facing the pits! Oh yeah, it absolutely needs that much time. I mean, I've been running this since the start, uh, since like late June. The car, the car. Oh, 
manages to dodge the Alex Bomber. Sends her into the ropes, big forearm. Oh. Sets up with a spear. I would say yes to like WWE their roster right now is top to bottom the best they've ever had easily shotgun chainsaw gets a win on the board looking to finish on a strong note our friend Canadian Zeb is up next He will be going up against Justine Sain. On the same record as his tag partner Chainsaw, Justine saying level on points, albeit with a different record on account of two draws. Each of these group matches, of course, having a 30 minute time limit. God, she did warn us she was going Super Saiyan for the finals. I'm going to quickly post the screen cap of that. Because, you know, I'm nothing if not shameless. your money on folks One. Justine Super Saiyan <laughs> or the Canadian Zeb in the submission again. Big DDT there. Oh, she just popped right back up. Scotty too soon. 
Hell yeah! That's a gimmick. Oh, but anyone, even a Super Saiyan, can do a side rushing leg sweep. Trying to wear her down. Fights her way out. Zeb with the belly to belly though. Not to be underestimated, of course. Suplex and a beauty from Justine saying, oh, setting up, here she goes. And just barely, he got the shoulder up. Magenta Flosion. Hits the Demon Rush. Spear. He just popped straight back up. Death Valley Driver. Oh, she's at it again. <laughs> that shit ruled. Explosion! Again! Oh, but sometimes even a regular suplex will do for a Super Saiyan. It's the rush again! Spear! Oh yeah, I noticed, uh, Jim. I think I've got it, actually. Death Valley Driver! Looking to put an end to her. Only 2.9. Oh, the stretch locked in again. Nails it again! Magenta Flosion sends her to the outside. Dead Valley Driver on the floor! Yes, completely no selling all of our cool Super Saiyan shit. Trading shots now. Gets the high kick in. Oh, thanks for the toothpick haul. DDT. So much no selling. Is he unable to capitalize with the pin? Butterfly suplex. Driver low. 
Oh, sets up again. I want an Australian version called Bulk Bogan, personally. It's basically just Hulk Hogan with the cork hat. Who's messaging me? Criminy. No matter. Oh, well, where's the fun in that? You know, getting it completely wrong. All right, next up. Sam King, Scott Murren. And if Scott Murren loses, he will be cemented in bottom place. And as I said earlier, Zeb, it's been a very tight group. Ah! Oh, thank you for following, Stuface. Very much appreciate it. And that takes us to 16 away from the big 1K. Yeah, you got struck by an upset. Jen. As you can see a very underwhelming record for Scott Murren. The flippiest boy in the tournament. As evidence there, missed with the enziguri. Oh, just straight to the face there. Yeah. <laughs> well, fret not, there is another tournament coming up soon. Plus, also, you are one half of the simultaneous champions. Max them titties. And again. Oh, hey, Chainsaw. Oh, walks in the dab mission. Huge backbreaker there. From Sam King, only a one count. Referee Big Hands Johnson looking on. He has refereed this entire thing. Oh, muff dive headbutt. There's a stink face as a finisher. Um, I think the only one that uses the sort of bum offense uh, was in block A, and that's Frillo. Oh, to the ribs. Very powerful individual is Sam King flying European uppercut. 
Scott's just right back up, determined not to get that wooden spoon. Flippy del soul. Now you did have that upset result, managed to hold both Bulldozer Sherman and Bastard Denton to draws. Oh! Now he's going full flippy. Come on! King hits the King's Landing though. He can turn so many matches in an instant with that one move. Yuri. Come on. Hits the King's Landing again. Calling his spots out loud here. Imagine wearing a t shirt of your own bum. Couldn't be me. King back in the ring. That rhymes Mars, you know it rhymes, admit it. Flippy Kai, eh, motherfucker! I'm imagining I'm imagining you saying it, you're wearing it right now. In the same style as like the mystery man from Lost Highway. I'm there right now. At your house. Brain buster indeed. Beautiful tiger faint kick there. Follows with the snap suplex. Out the back of the suplex attempt into your victory roll. And gets it! Dabs on him for good measure. A damn fine match for how relatively short it was. Oh god, this could be silly. This could be very silly. Oh. Albino versus Caveman. That's a cute shirt, Kiri. While I'm at it, I would like to congratulate Elbino on becoming a father to a beautiful baby boy, El Hijo del Elbino. Yeah, that child will be a fourth generation wrestler. Of course, Albino's parents. 
El Dan Dare and uh, his grandfather, El. Doc Savage. <laughs> I will do again. The child was born the day after his birthday. How's that for a present? Oh, it's Hecla. In the picture. Will mean it'll be no at a disadvantage. He's not. He'll not be getting a lot of sleep these days. Huh. There is one that can top it, Jen. Joanna and her mother actually shared the same birthday. What a way to spend your birthday, right? In screaming agony. <laughs> okay, man. Kicks to the gut, Albino Scoop Slam. I'm trying to wear his physically stronger opponent down. Headbutt there. <laughs> Missed with the takedown, Albino. Trying to work the arm. Take away that ham bone strength. One. Albino sent into the turnbuckle. Oh god. Hey man, oh, goes through the eyes. Big splash off the top. The caveman's just not selling shit right now. Breaks the back like so with his knee. There's the drop kick from Albino. But caveman regains control. Did a jail of dark. Yeah. Oh god, the stunner out of nowhere. Yeah. Ah, yeah, like I reckon, I've not seen a lot of Fair Club, but. I recognise her from Jayla's pictures of Japan. Oh, take down from Caveman. Elbino fights his way out. Both men back to their feet. Brutal DDT. Oh, trying to trick the referee. Will. Oh, and Big Hands Johnson not being fooled. There'll be no elbow off the top. But Caveman just fighting back again. Punches and bunches to the back of the head. 
Elbino sends him off the ropes, misses with that Tito Santana flying forearm. And now Caveman, playing to the crowd. Will the arrogance be the undoing? better but he'll be with a DDT of his own caveman plants him up top Elbino goes to the ice in position crossbody and nearly got it but caveman is pissed Running handbone. Elbino kicks out. The caveman off the ropes, you can see he's slowing. Elbino's attacks doing some damage. Oh, rolls him through and out of the cover. Could not put him away. Elbino sent into the turnbuckle, misses with the elbow in the corner. Elbino's hit full speed off the ropes. Uh, no, this is the theory. This is the last night of the tournament, of the group part of the tournament, anyway. And out forearms to the jaw. Elbino tap. a match for you. So what I'll do, I'll get the next two matches in, that'll be halfway through the group matches. Japanese I, I think I do it, yes Kyrie, yes. Um, the next one will be Bulldozer Sherman versus Jody Summers. get through the next two matches I'll do the, I'll do Kane and Knight's request one from earlier the gorilla versus war bacon and right now bulldozer Sherman needs to beat Jody Summers to stay in this Oh wait, I just realised I missed a match. Fight. Nothing less than a win will do for Bulldozer Sherman right now. I mean, the thing is, like, Sherman and Bacon were, they got came up with completely independently of each other. And I'll go one further and say that Rep making War Bacon actually predates uh, Braun Strowman. So, like, War Bacon was basically Braun Strowman before Braun Strowman was Braun Strowman. I, you know, I, Obviously, Jody Summer's very popular with the chat, but I do not fancy his chances here, even if he is a double stomp pervert. It's 
Scott Norton existed before many things, but War Bacon was never a arm wrestler. I'm just sending Summers back with those blows. Dodges the Enziguri again. I don't think arm wrestling is even on uh, Rep's radar, to be honest. It's a thing, Kyuri. Uh, people decide they're a fan of a company and can't accept any criticism. Exactly, Kenny Knight, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, tribalism. I will argue till my dying day that WCW should have won the war. Welcome! We're doing the final uh, matches of a G1 style tournament I'm running. I mean, I'm not particularly watching either WWE or AEW right now, but if you were, if you asked me to like, if I could only watch one. Like, I would pick AEW in a heartbeat. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we're doing the last two matches of this block in the one night christenator. But yeah, you're welcome. Come on in. Uh, that and the occasional chatting with wrestling and stuff and you know just have some fun my recommendation to everyone uh, Spike Dragon is to get an IWTV uh, subscription you know like 10 or a month and there's like literally something for everyone on it Jody Summers with those chops to the titties. Oh, the double stomp pervert is loose. The crowd love those double stomps from him. Sherman straight back up though. Absolute horse of a man. But again, he needs to win here to stay in the... If he loses, he's out. He cannot win. Oh god! Jody Summers showing some great fighting spirit here. Rocker dropper. You see the big man is starting to get windied. His one weakness. Well, that and being pinned. Oh, that's not going to end well for you. It's the rope's big splash to the back. 
You know, I never thought of that crap in here. <laughs> The overdrive! The overdrive! Uh, the story behind Big Hands Johnson is just, you know, his hands are so muscly from all the all the counting he does. Oh, we know what that means. Oh, chose not to go for it. Punches him in the back of the head like his name was Lenny. Uh, I mean, there's several Kiri, like... I mean, Nyla's the first with, like, a major American promotion. Yeah, they literally craft the shirt around them, Chrisinator. I I don't have the WWE network right now. I'm not giving them my money. If other people want to, cool. Go ahead, do your thing, but not for me. Big splash! I don't know why the rope brakes aren't working, but, you know, I ain't mad at it. Double stomps. Look at this pervert go. Hangs him up in the tree of Joy Lawrence. And Jody tried to kick out, but it was just too late. I'm going to quickly go back for... Uh, oh wait, well, right, we'll do the next one and then I'll go back for the one I accidentally missed out. Exactly, yeah, I mean similar damage levels, Jim. Big press, power slam and an overdrive. Bastard Denton, what's his story? Going up against Mirabella, who's been on the run of a lifetime. feel like a lot of the impetus of this one has been lost we make no mistake they're both gonna go for it
your ability extremely hard hitting. But this perhaps the biggest test of her career. Oh, he goes for it all the time. Big boot to face. Sends her into the ropes. Of flying European uppercut. Trading ah. shots now. Talking it to his jaw. Oh, Alabama slam already. Flying kick there. Oh, just, just unloading back of his head. Oh, snaps the fingers. Into the cross face. Oh, beautiful leg sweep. Big shots to the jaw again. Fly kick. Yeah, Cobra Clutch Crossface. He does live to utilize that, has won many a match with it. God, ripcord knee. Big kick to the gut, though. Follows with the backbreaker. It wasn't in SmackDown 2, I don't think, Chainsaw, but it was in the first one. Oh, just elbows him straight over the top. Off to you. See him try to gather himself before getting back in the ring. Knows she has a fight ahead of him. She looks in the regal stretch. Alabama slam! The big cheese! Yeah. As I'm in the corner, oh! I just repeated punches to the head. Follows with a slap. To the gut. She's back up. And again, just repeated punches. She goes up top. Throats. Oh, God, missed. He's trying to sneak one. Gets two. Oh, Raw 2 was great. 
The one where you like drop boxes on their heads backstage. Rolling elbow! Pulls it up with the sliding Larry. He's on he's on the ropes here. Metaphorically. Repeated chops to the bosoms. But he locks in a cross face. Buster. Yeah, Raw 2 is a very well liked uh, game. And amongst the sort of, I guess, wrestling community on Steam. Oh, Fisherman Brain Buster. Uh, I don't know, Chrisinator. Um, the, I mean, I know Curie's not far above 20, but... Oh, Mirabella bust open. I recommend playing Chrisinator. I recommend playing Raw 2 if you can get a hold of it, though. It's a lot of fun. 2.9 Oh! Dirty dude's done dirt cheese! I'm gonna really show my age, but uh, my first wrestling game was uh, Wrestlemania for the Commodore 64, where you could only go three people. It was awful. <laughs> you could only go Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, or the British Bulldog. And you couldn't play as the heels. Raw for the SNES was pretty good. Unless I'm mistaken, it was the very first WWE game, or WWF game, anyway, that you could, uh, where you could get a ref bump. Oh, the GameCube ones are fun as well, yeah. Box in that Cobra, cross face again, but nothing doing. Dirty Deeds done dirt cheese! Oh, like, I'm getting on a bit. I'm an 80s kid, but, like, you know, I'm not gonna make anyone feel bad for the stuff they missed out on. I'll recommend, hey, you should check this out, you know. Like, the AKI games for the Super Nintendo were great. Uh, good lighting, I guess, Kyuri. Believe it or not, I'm older than Jayla. Oh, has him out in the apron. Oh god! Tiger driver to the floor! back in the ring. Took a moment to compose herself. But still a bit winded. Obviously the blood loss. And we're getting close to the time limit. You know, these group matches do have that 30 minute time limit. 
Four minutes remain. Winds up. Oh, but she's out of breath. The blood loss taking its toll. Two count. Strike puts her down. Leg lariat to the back of the head. Ooh. <laughs> Like Larry again. Oh god! Alabama slam! He kicked out! Snaps it place. Two minutes on the clock. Trying to further open her up. Missed with the leg lariat. But he breaks the back like so with the knee. Goes up top. Phoenix splash. One minute on the clock. Cut buster. Slides in with the lariat. Oh, cross face, cross face. She makes the ropes. And this one is going to end in a draw. And it's just as well that Casey Logan uh, got that win earlier because that result would have put them both out anyway. They both would, even if Casey Logan had lost, they both would have needed a win. All right. Uh, so the last of the first group of matches. And another one, Charlie Webb needs to win here, otherwise she cannot reach the top spot. Charlie Webb started as one of the favourites, had a pretty poor start, but has really turned on the form. KT Lawless. In the meantime, looking to avoid that wooden spoon. Of course, whoever comes bottom will need to face Frillho. Coming up at Summer Blockbuster, August 23rd. Yes, uh, Canadian Bird is in. Uh, she lost in the qualifying round for the tournament though, unfortunately. Though she is one half of our, uh, like, one half of our tag team champions, along with Charlie here. Speaking of 2KO, the team of Jen Steele and Charlie Webb, I will be announcing their next title defence later this evening. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, the, the team name is 2KO. As the uh, back in the game of the days of playing the 2K games, they had a habit of winning matches by knockout. And the repair knockouts, because you know. And this is where Jen's like, oh shucks, or whatever. KT hits the ropes, misses with the boot. Yeah, not literally, but you know. Although, Maggie Myers was never seen again. Saying that, I hope she's doing okay. Oh! I like it. Well, you'll need to think of a new name. And of course, if Webb ends up winning this tournament, or this block, she'd end up pulling double duty at Summer Blockbuster. As of course all of the titles will be defended at Summer Blockbuster. Ha <laughs> she said bomb. Locks in that gear roll. The few matches she's won in this tournament were with that move. Now trading back and forth. Bit of discus and gravy. Gets one in return. Beautiful drop kick. Oh, there's that butterfly gut buster! Speaking about one from the archives... Oh! And there's a Suzuki-style pile driver! Brain buster! Can't she capitalize? Ah, so like, uh, underdogs. Oh, Charlie's got wood. Yeah. She did the deal! Catches that spinning backhand to the face. Guillotine! Hits the ropes. Oh! Just volleyed her right in the ribs. Smacks her back of the head. Charlie's up though. More smackies. Turn about though, fair play. Face buster. Katie using what little reserves she has left to block there. Big suplex though. Guillotine again. Give 
and Katie giving a fine account of herself here against one of the top runners. Big forearm. Oh, big foot follows. Webb was up in time though. Caught the jawbreaker. Big high kick there. Oh, she did the deal. Nobody kicks out of the falcon arrow. So there we go. So let's take a look. So remembering it is two points for a win. This is how things stand with one match remaining for each competitor. So Casey Logan Bulldozer Sherman and Charlie Webb, the last ones left in the fight. Quickly save and we're going to uh, do our quick halftime match. So I've got these written down. We've got three matches written down. Uh, I'm going to do one now and the rest will come after the rest of the group matches. And it's going to be a shoot fight, brother. Oh, hey, Seaweed. It is going to be Huge Erilla. Uh, the first round of matches, uh, the group, everyone still has one match left to go. Oh, just noticed Chris and Aiter's an NL boy. You're very welcome here then. War Bacon, who, fun fact, War Bacon is in the uh, NL version of WR3D. In fact, there's a few people we've got on our roster in that. I love that Lance Maverick made it into it. Also, an Andy Eve plays boy. Yeah, of course. Uh, everyone, if you're still awake, depending on obviously time difference and stuff, 
Be sure and check out Andy E Plays later on this evening for Or The Highway, the big W3 pay-per-view. I'll need to do that and just make a big streak of uh, silver up his back or something. Close to 11, oh god, yeah. Um, I mean, it's usually like 3 a.m. where I am when he starts, but like I've got no sleeping pattern to speak of, so. Oh yeah, she did, uh, like Rush did such a good job with that. Amazing job with that. drop from huge Rilla. Oh. Who have you got folks? Oh, huge Rilla up top. Eat shit on the leg drop attempt. Well like that's the thing like Chris and because I know like I'm I'm not like Johnny or Everett or Dino or Rush like I'm too sedate. I'm more of a a, a slipper, a dual type, I guess. But you know, try it on here. Mm. Headbutt. War bacon's okay though. Oh, here they go, trading shots. And it's War bacon forcing Huge Rilla back. He actually used to have a. Like, back in the 2K days, he was made by Repelec. And back in the 2K days, he actually used to have, like, a logo on his singlet. Kinda in the style of like the like the Motorhead logo. Oh, looking for the big bacon bomb. Couldn't get it. We're into round three. Referee, big hands, Johnson. More bacon hits the ropes, big bacon splash. UG roll up top, but thinks better of it. And War Bacon taking it. Taking it to UG Rilla right now. God, the strength that must be required to do that. And belly to belly, QG roll is down, the referee's counting. Count of four, back up. Oh, giant swing. Power slam from War Bacon. Looking for the big bacon. Oh no! 
Hit the alley oop, the move that made him famous. Yuji Rilla already back to his feet. Big bacon splash. Well, it's a train day. And the match starting to take its toll on both of them. War Bacon, I think, was saved by the bell there. Bacon though back to his feet. Big bacon bomb! Running power slam. War bacon struggling now. I mean war bacon is as tough as they come, but this is a damn gorilla. Oh gorilla's in the fist! Bacon's still in it. Hits the ropes. This is a toughly fought one. Oh, hand strikes from Huge E. Rilla. More bacon still in it. Belly to belly. This has been totally contested. Headbutt. More bacon up. Shoulder tackle. Has War Bacon in the corner. But that gorilla is huge. I mean, War Bacon's big, but looks positively normal sized next to Huge e Rilla. Headbutt. Can War Bacon get up? War Bacon is still in it. Running power slam. And that is probably going to be all. You can still see him trying though. No, he's still in it. Big bacon splash. Of course, Chris and Air. This is pro wrestling, Gorilla. And gets the victory. We need Pledge of Demon for the final stretch. Here is the last round of matches. Let's take a look at the card. What have we next? Canadian Zebra versus Sam King. 
Oh, don't swear it, Kiri. I know you're hurting. What's more, if you ever feel like it, there is a bit in the Discord for like talking about when things are getting you down and stuff. You're more than welcome to use that whenever you want. Everyone in there is very understanding and tries to be helpful and compassionate. Thank you for the follow, Chris and Air. Quickly check the gimmick. So that means... We are... 16 follows away from the big 1k. 9... 9 subscriptions away from the uh, from getting a new mode slot as well. Funny enough, Chrisinator, that actually came because of Johnny. Uh, earlier in the year, I did a charity stream for the Beats and Cancer charity, which is a like a local cancer charity here in Scotland. And uh, Johnny came on the stream to like help us out, help us raise some money in that because, like, I know how passionate he is about helping out with that kind of thing from like the, from you know like the fighting back streams that they do. So during it, Johnny got into an argument with a young Irish wrestler by the name of Amy Alonzi about toaster ovens and also. Uh, her Amy trying to defend the overdrive. Oh, awesome! Then, in that case, Chris Nair, welcome back. So yeah, like Johnny at one point called her like a toast pervert, and it just like cracked me up something fierce. So like that ended up getting made the like the follow notification. <laughs> Oh, that's a great way to get exposed to John Robertson as well, because John Robertson is like hilarious, and if there was any justice, would be one of the like more successful stand-up comedians on the planet. But you know, is what it is. But he's doing well on Twitch right now. for this one. Both these two lost earlier this evening. Big pervert boy, exactly. Oh yeah, John's like one of the, as well as being hilarious, he's genuinely uh, one of the funniest guys on the face of the earth. And one of the nicest as well. Alright, baby. You're no Chris Jericho. Oh god. Magenta Flosion. Pat Kimbley, the creator of Sam King, who you're watching wrestling right now. Yeah. 
So I have it on good authority, Zeb wants to lose so his record can be 6 and 9. And that would be nice. Taking it to each other on the outside. Zeb beats the count. Two count. Oh, I see you. Why the pins weren't working right, uh, the rope brakes weren't working right, I was, I messed up with the mods. I'd left on one of the settings I had for yesterday for that big, um, the big uh, deathmatch battle royal that Gazira booked. What do they know, Kiri? Please know that in this little community we have here, Kiri, you are very well liked. Oh, that's good to hear, Kiri. Jeebus effect there from Canadian Zeb. Sends King into the ropes. Another Jeebus effect. Suplex from King who's trying to get his breath back. Oh god. Variation of an orange crush. You know how people can be curious, they'll always try to like tear down the wrestlers of, you know, like rival promotions or whatever. Um I have a man sir. Uh, I've basically got a full WWE roster. Drops the elbow. Sam King's calling his spots really loudly again. Tiger Driver! I mean, the thing is, Curie, like, it shouldn't matter. Like, if every wrestler wrestled the same style, wrestling wouldn't be as fun as it is. Kiyuri, for any of the like the new people in the chat who don't know, Kiyuri is a professional wrestler for Ice Ribbon in Japan. And in my opinion is very good as well. Puff. Gets it. So Zeb, you are six and nine. Everyone gives Zeb a nice. <laughs>
See, everyone wins uh, Pack and Lee, or in another more accurate way, one of three people will win. Yeah, I mean, it's been a tightly fought group. Very tightly fought. Next up, we have Caveman against Scott Murren. Is Scott Murren in his last gasp to avoid the wooden spoon? <laughs> So we'll keep going with the group matches and depending what time obviously they finish we'll do a bunch of like uh, by request matches as well. Of course, at Summer Blockbuster on the 23rd, there will be the final wooden spoon match featuring the people at bottom of both groups. Will it be Scott Murren going up against Frillho? Sends him over to the knee. Now both men into the ropes. Big shoulder tackle there from K-Man. Follows it with the elbow drop. Oh, also, uh, uh, Pat, your record was 8-7 and seven because you lost it uh, to Scott earlier. Beautiful head scissor takeover. Still above uh, the the 50-50 mark though. Oh, snaps the leg beautifully there. into figure four, Murren having none of it. Caveman goes to the eyes. And again a beautiful head scissors takeover. Lock up. Honestly Kiri, you're not missing much. Sonic a Hedgehog versus Ishii or uh, Yano. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh yeah, I mean, he did actually have good matches in Japan, I will say that. As much as I dislike Hogan the person, he did have good matches in Japan. Beautiful Casadora stomp there. It's a 
some beautiful flippy action there from Morin. But anyone, even Caveman, can do a side Russian leg sweep. Caveman hits the ropes, but oh! It just fires away with fists instead. You can see him starting to slow, starting to run out of gas a little bit. But is Scott Morin still on top in that department? Big Lariat! 2.9. Oh! Flippy Kaye, eh, motherfucker! Caveman just out in the nick of time. Leapfrog, and he's trying to tire him out. That's a smart move. Satellite DDT. Oh, low blow from Caveman. And there's the ham bone. As I'm up top looking for the shooting star, Knees gets it! Beautiful Hurricane Rana. Follows with the standing monkey flip. Handbone! But Morden, still going. Double stop, up top. He's gonna get off that bomb spot, no matter what it takes. Super kick. Nope, full speed off the ropes, drop kick. Okay, man with the head buckle. Backflip codebreaker would actually rule. Oh! Poison Rana in El Mahistral but too close to the ropes. Four fifty, too close to the ropes. Oh god! The ham bone again. Will it be all? But Morin is not for staying down. Huge drop kick. Boston Crab locked in, and that is it. Scott Morin gets the wooden spoon. Next up, oh, this could be interesting. Oh, yeah, that match will rule. Okay, for A could get the 69 uh, ratio here as well. FKT Lawless can pick up the win.
fight. Here we go. Oh, handbone of her own already. You fool! Oh, missed with the high kick there. Quite an edgy start to this one. <laughs> Poking punch bags in the bum. What a way to spend your training. Ducks and oh, got caught. Teaching his fingers to be able to pierce anybody's anus. Covered attempt from Katie Locks, only one. Here we go, trading blows. Head scissors. Oh, beautiful gut buster there. And again, cover. Oh, yeah. I mean, Chris and Hater, wait till you see Thrill Hole. Shots to the jaw. Off the ropes, Lariat. Into the head scissors. And expertly placing her body between Katie Lawless and the ropes. Big clothesline. Covered attempt. Nearly got it. Oh god, Jushin Liger against Frilho. Brain buster from Katie. In the corner. Oh god. Locks in the triangle choke. Frey fights her way out. Oh, Big Hands Johnson is down! Brain Buster! And again! Oh, hooks upside down! You fool indeed, Chainsaw. KT in position. Sorry, Kate in position. Oh, missed with the big boot. Missed with the high kick. Oh, just repeated smacks to the head, taking Foray down to the mat. Now those repeated kicks to the bosoms. Gut buster. Oh, how strong. How very, very strong. Landing in some heavy shots now. Oh, spinning backhand. Oh! Locked in the gate roll guillotine, but came too close to the ropes. And, oh, just trading now. Smacks to the face versus forearms. Which is better? Oh, bit of discus and gravy from both of them. Beautiful high kick again. 
as they lock up. Big suplex from Foray. He's starting to get a bit blown up. Brainbuster followed by Chops to the bosoms. Oh! Swinging side slam! Cover! And did not get the job done. Spinning backhand! Oh! Missed! Oh, caught with a high kick there. Lawless is going for it. Double stomp shades of Jody Summers. Spinning backhand again. High kick, chop. Oh, but both of the ropes managed to hold on. Oh, pop up power bomb! Oh, that's a great picture. I know, right? Dem fies. What we got next? Oh, this will be a fun one. Be nice to see the crowd split on this one as well. As it will be. Elbino versus Jody Summers. Albino with the emo luchador going up against Jody the double stomp pervert Summers. I sleep in a big bed with my wife. For those not familiar with Albino's story, his father was a wrestler in a mask. Not a real luchador, one of those white guys that pretends to be one. However, never smartened his son up to the business, so Elbino grew up believing himself to be Mexican, despite only speaking a few rudimentary Spanish phrases. His father is not a sex pest. Just 
Welcome to the eyes from Elbino. Are you being the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned, son? Elbino, the savior of the emos, the moody, and the weird. Oh, trying to play a trick on the referee. His big hand's gonna fall for it. It's actually the Blue Demon Junior Mask, uh, Spike. Came about because my friend Stu actually just bought a Blue Demon Mask and just started wearing it around college back in the day. And actually referring to himself as Elbino in tribute to the famous El Dandy promo. Oh, beautiful DDT. I know, believe it or not, he passed. <laughs> Beautiful double stomp. It was around about the same time that I started uh, wearing uh, denim cutoffs covered in patches with a leopard print headband and uh, fingerless leather gloves and calling myself Biff Saxon. Ah, El Bino uh, Christinator. And reference to the El Dandy promo because like when we were kids the two big like kids comics in the UK were the Dandy and the Beano. Uh, small ones Kiri? Oh right yeah um, I mean I can try like some of the haircuts make them look taller than they actually are. Oh, beautiful reversal there from Jody. Low blow from Elbino. Give up. Give up. And at that chin lock, Jody fights his way out. Snap suplex. Oh, he's going up top. No worries, Jen. Thank you for coming out. Love you very much. Oh, trying to trick the ref again. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's how that works. I think it's just a win is a win in this, isn't it? Oh, rocker dropper. Rocker dropper again. 
Both men exhausted. Elbino is up first, but he is almost out on his feet. Whipped into the turnbuckle. Beautiful double stop. And, oh, missed. But not with that one. This absolute double stomp pervert. Oh, small package from Jody. Elbino up top now. Big splash. Elbino gets the win. There, we're getting there. Next up, it is time to say goodbye to a character. As the next match will be the final appearance of Battle Clash. He has chosen to retire to become backstage of medic and official for Super Pro Wrestle. Uh, in reality, Kiori, uh, I think uh, Kat, the person who came up with the character, uh, wants to try maybe a different character instead. When in actuality, like the way I'm going to deal with that medic thing is I'm just going to make her a referee, but you know. Uh, yes, Kiori, you can. Yeah, absolutely, Kiori. We can sort that later. Uh, message me on Discord about it or something. Mira's theme, good question. It's something from the Harley Quinn soundtrack, but I can't remember the name of it offhand. Is Danger by Juicy Fruit. Spelt the Chris Jericho way. Uh, Birds of Prey, Jim. That would be awesome if you could get it, if you could set it to have streamers in the game. That would actually rule. I would love that. Oh, winding up. Looking for the Superman punch already. I've never seen it, Kiri, so I can't judge, but I've heard much things. I've heard, I know a lot of people who liked it, but I, I also know a lot of people who weren't too into it. Words of Prey would be a film name. I mean, my favourite tag team name, and I've mentioned this on stream before, many many times but is one that never actually got used and it was uh, Jayla Dark and Viper who for a while got booked as She-X 
but uh, basically based on a picture of them dressing up as Shawn Michaels and Triple H on a drunken night out once. But uh, like Viper told me at one point that she wanted to change the name to Angry Birds and I thought that was just the most hilarious thing ever. Oh, missed! Another miss! Drops a leg. Mira back up. Oh, slides through the legs. Gets caught, breaks the back like so with her knee. And there's a big suplex there from Mirabella. Oh, missed with the split leg. That has got to sting. See, like, I've never watched any of those films, Chainsaw, so the only thing I've seen Margot Robbie in is the... Uh, that Saturday Night Live sketch, where she's like the hot wife of the, the just normal looking guy on the news report. Drops the leg again. Fires away with the fists. Big axe bomber there. Back with Clash sends her back in. Pop up, cut her. And now they trade. I keep meaning to get around to watching Inland Empire, but it annoys me that the Blu ray doesn't have subtitles on it because I'm quite hard of hearing. Because, and I mentioned this to someone the other night, like I was never a big comic book guy as a kid. Like, mainly because nowhere around where I grew up really sold comic books. So like, my exposure to Batman was just like, the movies, or uh, the 60s series, or the animated series. So like, I I always assumed that Harley Quinn was a character from the comic books. I didn't realise that she first appeared in the animated series. And she's all, you know, like, hey Mr. J. And all that. Well, not that I can do an impression of anyone, let alone Harley Quinn. Yeah, I know, which is weird because I've got them all hauling and drive at Blu-ray and that's got uh, subtitles. Nearly got the win. Kawada kicks there. From Battle of Clash. Oh, really? Kiri? Mm -hmm. Oh, fat hanging clash, uh, stretch. I keep messing up saying that. Says it's over, gets caught by the jawbreaker. Big slap. Big slap. Sends her into the ropes. Flying shoulder tackle. Yeah. 
big slot. Drop right on the dome. Oh yeah, totally changed song. Like subtitles should be a thing, like by default. My first waifu sounds absolutely like a TV series or a game. Oh, missed with the larry, missed with the slap. Look last through the suplex. See like dubs and stuff I get as being extras, but regular subtitles should be just there by default. Close to the ropes. Destino! Oh, power bomb! Nowhere to go this time! The clash is up! Cover! The Clash is not staying down. Wants to go out with a bang. Nails the gut buster. Pelly kick. Hurricane Rana, all but front of the outside. Da -da 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 dive! What happens if it's a tie? Um, well, Mira's out of the running anyway because of Casey Logan winning earlier. Bloody hell! Hanging back stretch. Give up. Both off the ropes again. You fools! Less than a minute left. But she's exhausted, can't capitalize. Egg breaker! Drops the leg. on a draw.
Yeah, look, sign of respect. We'll go with that. That fits. Okay, three matches from the groups left. First up, CM Chainsaw versus Casey Logan. Uh, it ended in a draw theory. Oh right, Gary. Yeah, um, I didn't know, but you know, that's cool. You're welcome here. Trans people are welcome here. Non-binary people are welcome here. God, looking for the double stomp or the curb stomp already. Bear in mind, if Casey Logan wins this match, it's over. Yeah, I I didn't know Kiri, but it doesn't impact anything as far as my liking you as a wrestler or a person. See, I, I did think when you said that, but I thought it was maybe like an allyship thing. But either way, you know, you're welcome here. The only way that someone is not welcome here is if they are, you know, like transphobic or racist or homophobic or anything like that. Yeah, I, I genuinely didn't know. You know, like Bill and Ted used to say, just be excellent to each other and party on dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Kiri. I mean, you don't have to go into detail or anything like that if you don't want to. But just know that if you do uh, say things, you will not be judged.
<laughs> Come so. Pervy <laughs> We know that, yes, Curie. And that doesn't change anything either. Oh. He did the deal! Well, it wasn't that deal, but it's his deal. Hell yeah, I'd be down for a pair of your rascals tag team. That's an idea, Kenny. <laughs> Only people who don't do six thirties are cowards. Yeah, like that big dog Andrew Everett. Oh, Phoenix. Flash does not get the job done. Even a point, even a draw. Would be enough. Or should be enough. Oh, just flipped off someone in the crowd for no good reason. So back suplex. Looking to get the count out. Does not do so. Kick combo. The same one. <coughs> Often used by Casey Logan. Pardon me. Charges in with the knee in the corner. DDT Cover Bless me indeed oh. 
chainsaw just no sold that. Double stomp. Hey, Manlin. Spinny Whirly DDT. Drops to the knee again. Chainsaw not only fighting for the sake of finishing as high up the table as possible. Oh, thanks for the host, Henry. But has the hopes and dreams of everyone else in this group raiding on him? Well, everyone else, by everyone else, I mean Bulldozer Sherman and uh, Charlie Webb, of course. Off the top, Chainsaw is dazed. Ha sweet volley high, he's back up. They're up top once again. Yappy's quite new, right, Curie? I don't think anyone's made Yappy in the game yet. Rapidu! Big ass kick. And just like that, things are wide open. Like my legs. Um, To look at it now. Oh, hey, Gazira. Right. Wait one second. I'm just going to quickly look up the old results. I'll try and suss this out. So we have two matches left. However, Casey Logan beat both Bulldozer Sherman and Charlie Webb. No worries. I uh, struck me the link on Discord or something. So now. A literal giant Baba was like uh, basically a giant baby. Oh my god, I just saw it. <laughs> 
So, if Charlie Webb wins and goes leveled with points, level on points, look at his altar. So I'll do that. Well, yeah, I'll do that now while the entrances are running. Oh, holy shit! That's amazing. Um, so, if Charlie Webb wins, she would go level with points with Casey Logan. However, she would, like, in the case of the head-to-head, -head, she would lose because she lost to Casey Logan. So her best hope would be to push that and hope that Bulldozer Sherman draws. To force a freeway tie and a tiebreaker. Also, these two teammates within the dark room stable. Hell yeah, Kuzi's theme. Looking for that butterfly gut buster. Oh yeah, it was a total like gimmick jobber thing. You could even use the like the jobber moves that I think Avenger put up on the workshop. They would work for uh, literal giant Baba. Super kick already from Bastard Denton. Because you do look a lot younger than you are, Kyrie. Mm. See, it comes, Henry, because they're in the same stable. That's what makes this so damnably intriguing. Oh God, what is he doing? Exploder to the floor! And Webb going for a weapon! Is the dark room imploding before our very eyes? They're both going for weapons. Now they've both got weapons. How can we be sure they're imploding? It's a dark room. Goes for the suplex. Denton gets behind. Rams into the turnbuckle. Webb charges in with the forearm. One. Oh. Leapfrog. Yeah. Trying to tire out Denton. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Fury with the cute picks again. Webb needs this win and needs to pray for a Bulldozer Sherman draw. Snap suplex. Ah! Oh, it is, oh, I see it now, yeah. Cool. 
Call that Julia Villet because it's a beautiful German. Only 2.9. Oh, and we've got a German in the chat who may actually get the reference. Brain buster from Webb. She needs this. But Bastard not changing his tactics at all, just cheating every chance he gets. Webb hits the ropes, drops the knee. Another Julia Valet. Beautiful Pelly kick there. Sends Bastard into the ropes, kicks the leg out of the leg. He's back up. Brain Buster onto the back. It's worse to look older than you are, trust me. After you get to a certain age anyway. Spine bomb again. No worries, uh, Henry. Oh, hello, Androgynous. You lost the last match, however, you can still you're still ahead. What, what happens is if Charlie Webb the, wins this match, she would go level on points with you, but you would win on head to head because you beat her. However, there is one match left. If that goes to a draw, if Charlie wins, then it would be a three way tie and we'd have a tiebreaker match. If Bulldozer Sherman loses, you win. If Bulldozer Sherman wins, he wins. Beautiful drop kick, bastard, break back up, into the cover. I swear to God, if that's the finish. Web, oh, Web dodged. Now he reverses the Irish whip, has her up in the tree of Joey Lawrence. The gut buster. Does not put him away. He locks in the crossface. That is a bloody canvas. Drops the knee off the ropes. Webb is down. Cover, but too close to the ropes. Looking for that butterfly. Cut Buster again gets it. Cover. Back and forth they go. Spinning backhand. Super kick. And trying to further open her up. What is he doing? That is a teammate of his. A teammate who is still in with an albeit very slim chance of winning this group. A teammate who might have another match if it goes to a tie break. Yeah. 
Oh, big foot in the corner. Locks in the cross face. She's out the ropes. Butterfly got Buster. Cover. The regime approves. Your loyalty demands. She did the deal. No one kicks out the Falcon Arrow. I'm going to call it that, the Tiger Stabber. No, wait, because uh, Tiger Vamp's already got a move called the Tiger Stabber. Oh god! Super kick! But she will not stay down. Does the deal, but he's too close to the ropes. Does it again! Nowhere to go! No one kicks out! Locks in the crossface, but she is at the ropes. Running Bigfoot, but she's exhausted from the blood loss. You fools! Three minutes left on the clock! Brain Buster! Oh god, he snaps the fingers! Locks in the Cobra! Crossface! She... Oh, she had no choice but to tap out her own teammate, putting her out of the tournament. Which brings us down to the final match. It is Bulldozer Sherman versus Justine Sane. It goes like this. If Bulldozer Sherman wins, he wins the group. If he draws or loses, Casey Logan wins the group. He needs to win. And he is going against a literal Super Saiyan. Let's fucking go. No, Bulldozer's part of the Curry House Fight Club. Fight. Here we go, main event time. Bulldozer shit. Oh, I thought he was going for the Arsenal bomb already. In case you didn't know, by the way, uh, Androgen, it's Justine Sane is Courtney Rush. Thanks for the toothpick haul! <laughs> yeah, 
there is a huge size difference here. The living legend just insane. Versus Mr. Horse Force Go himself. Oh, double shot there. Shades of Mortal Kombat again. I'm looking for the power bomb. Saiyan reverses. Both off the ropes, big shoulder tackle there from Bulldozer Sherman. Oh, low blow! Did they teach that at the same school? Oh, big lariat there. But Justine Sane, standing her ground. And carrying the hopes of Casey Logan with her. As it comes down to this. Beautiful snapmare from Justine Sane. Followed by the kick to the gut. That's, yeah, I mean. Oh, beautiful Aurora Borealis. Only one count. The only grew like a Nats here fall. Another Aurora Borealis at this time of day. This time of year, localized entirely within the Super Pro Wrestle ring. The slap's doing nothing. Look how strong he is. Here she goes. Thanks for the toothpick haul. Oh, setting up for that Dragon Ball rush. Two point nine. So very, very close. Uh, no spike dragon, but I'm going to add it. Try to build things up. Oh God! Huge power bomb there. Cover. Saying out at 2.9. Oh, she's bust him open. Cover! And she is taking it to the big man. Uh, yes. Yes, I was, Chainsaw. You just change uh, the slot. Like the attire slots. Sling blade. Oh, but he's got that power bomb again. Absolutely folded her. 2.9. The bulldozer is leaking. Oh, locks in the Mexican stretch. At the foot side of the ropes. Oh no. The Arsenal bomb. Arsenal bomb! At the ropes. Now he sends her. Oh god, what a lariat. Now has her up. And there'll be no ropes saving her this time. Arsenal bomb! She kicked out. She kicked out somehow. She kicked out. And he is exhausted. No slaps doing nothing. He's just firing up. He slapped her out of the ring. By God. And now they tie up again. The strike's doing nothing. He's so strong. Oh, but she sends him into the barrier. Beautiful high kick. Kicks him in the dick. He managed to beat the count though. And telling him to bring it. 
suplex to the floor. As it's a giant versus a Saiyan. No worries, Androgynets. Thanks for poking your head in. Oh. Sends him flying again. Now they both beat the count. Oh God! Now has her hooked up again. Power bomb. But she still won't stay down. Oh God, she's hurt. She is hurt. Costume parts on what? Sling blade. What head? Don't lose your head stop. Two point nine. Um No, like I don't know what that's about. She won't stay down. Oh, planting up at the top. What is she going for? Superplex! Cover! Oh god. Flans him! Absolutely drove him into the mat! But he won't stay down! He knows how much this means! He's not a saint, he's just a big tough man. Shoulder tackles are to the mat. Yeah, a saint versus a horse. Uh oh. Throw him into the mat again! My God! Up and down. God, the demon rush, the demon rush. Now it's the rock spear. He's just right back up. Oh, okay, Kiri. Oh, Jesus, what a power bomb. Here in the corner. Sends him to the outside. Follows. And now just scratching him on the floor. Suplex there. And even just insane, starting to tire. Holy shit. But he's just, he keeps going. How much can either of them have left in the tank? Whoa, whoa. Who 
toute seule. Bon. Uh, I have no idea, <laughs> seaweed. I just put the matches, not the results. Trading, once more. Cover off the high kick. Did not get him. Oh, oh. It drags him away from the ropes. Cover. One minute remains. One minute for Bulldozer Sherman to get the win. And that took all it had out of her to hit it. Does it again. But he keeps getting back up. But it was not enough. I remember hearing about that, Kiyori. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because it, it ranked it wrong, yeah. Wait. Oh, right. It's, mm, yeah, that's not right. That is not right either, because Casey Logan beat Bulldozer Sherman and accumulated more wins. So that is it, your finals will be Elijah King versus Casey Logan. Oh yeah, I'm totally ignoring it. So, uh, wait, if you wait one second, I have got something very special for you. If it can work quickly, that is. Just one second, my good sexy friends. Hmm. Oh. That'll make sense when you see it. I'm done. Right, 
So, I'll quickly change that. Your main event of Summer Blockbuster for the vacant Grand Championship. Elijah King versus Casey Logan. Sponsored by Gay Burger. Hello, what would you like between your buns today? Right, and I'll quickly post that on Twitter. 